Okay, now we got part two, and I'm going to set up to do the vacuum. She's eating a little bit of food there. I think I'd like to have her do it on a blue mat, maybe. And I'll put a little halter on her. really really want her to stay in one place so I'm going to add an extra target of using this too. Okay and I have a cordless Ryobi vacuum which is kind of a neat little thing. Actually has enough power to vacuum my horse. It's not super loud. We're just going to make this like a fun little station for her. But I do, I have like duct taped together a bunch of hoses so we don't have to have anything super right on top of her clothes. Yeah. Good girl. This. Oh, there, this is what I forgot. She also has to get sprayed with some anti-statics. Something about vacuuming a horse, they'll have static. Two, you can give them a static shock. One way to get rid of that is to keep your hand on them. The other way is to, and she wants to investigate. It's okay, baby. But I want you over. Back over here. Good girl. I want you to stand right here. Give me a little picture. Can you step up on here? Step up on the mat. Give me that. Okay. Now, Shauna Crush said you could just spray them a little bit with hair conditioner, and that would take care of the problem. Now she's been sprayed with stuff before. She, and that would help take care of the problem of static electricity. Maybe set this a little further away. Now it's going to get loud. Here we go. Good girl. But I like to keep my hand on her too. If you keep your hand on, what a good girl. Keep your hand on them at all times. Don't make too scrubby of a strokes or anything because you will give them a shock. Liking this. Now she's had work with this done. Not her first time. She's being good. She's being so good. Yes, she is. She's being so good. She's shedding. attachment I got from Valley Vet and it just kind of fits in the end of the hole and it doesn't stick in there good. And we'll turn it off to the other side. Go to the other side. I mean I guess I could turn the horse around but I'd like her to Oh, stay right there, honey. 
I'd like her to learn to stay in space in one place even when other things are going on. So this is part of being out here. And just moving the hose around can sometimes really freak them out. But you see, she's not afraid of much. She's really attached to humans and human-like things. This is a totally different story with Sugar Bay. So each horse is different. She's a really different behavioral problem. Because of the orphan control syndrome. And you see how she kind of turned her head towards me. That was that was her wanting to aloe bloom. Not wanting her to bite me or hurt me or anything. No. Target. She's doing very good. I expected her not to want to stand still much and that I wouldn't have had a easy time with her. So, she's really shedding. Oh, she got so many bite marks. That's Sugar Babe, man. She really had to wail on this horse to get her to move off. And in the end, Sugar Babe does let this horse barge around her. And because she just, she couldn't be that mean enough. She could not be mean enough and keep space. We've all kind of gotten used to that. Lacey will be a little closer to us than we would really like. But as long as she doesn't take it out of hand. We'll compromise with her on that. Because she is so trusting. I just really don't want to ruin that trust. And that's one of the reasons I've been doing the positive reinforcement and it takes lots and lots of repetitions with the leading because I'd like to be able to lead her out of here but she's got to have cues down good and she's just got to be behaving herself better yes you can touch a target and get a treat so that was pretty good I was happy with that supposed to stay there honey ah, ah, ah. Why don't you just step on that? she's like well I'll eat it out of the bin now now you get that okay she's had enough so I'm gonna pick things up and put her away but thanks for watching that granny horse training and uh teaching her to stand around and get groomed. She does know how to tie, and she does get tied up in the barn sometimes. Um, so that's all. Thanks for watching. Bye.